All right, good morning, everyone, and welcome to the Phillips Lighting June product launch webinar. My name is Marissa Hobby. I'm part of our professional trade marketing team, and I'll be your host for today's webinar. Just a few housekeeping notes before we begin. First is that this webinar is being recorded. The recording, as well as a copy of the presentation, will be sent to you via email in the next week. Next, as you can tell when you join the webinar, you are automatically muted, and this is to ensure the best sound quality during this presentation. Also, we will be taking questions throughout the webinar. You can go up to the Q&A tab at the top of the screen and type in a question at any time, but please note that we will not address your question until after a presenter has finished speaking to his or her topic. And lastly, we'll be taking a few quick poll questions throughout the webinar, and your participation is greatly appreciated. So now on to the agenda slide. First, we'll present to you the new Evo Grid Recess Luminaire, followed by our new Instant Fit LED PLL lamp. And then we'll have another quick LED lamp update, followed by some new resources. So with that, I'm going to pass it over to our first presenter, Craig Wright, the product manager for our Evo Grid. Go ahead and take it away, Craig. All right, thank you, Marissa. And I appreciate everybody spending your valuable time with us today. Uh, as Marissa indicated, we're talking about the Philips Daybright Evo Grid Recessed LED Luminaire today. Uh, the information is all uploaded on the, on the uh, website, including spec sheets, IES files, and some other support data. Uh, you can uh, drill down on the website or just search for Evo Grid to go there uh, to the landing page for that, or uh, go to philips.com slash Evo Grid, and it'll take you straight to that landing page. So just a quick overview of the value proposition. Uh, there are over a billion fluorescent troffers in the, installed in the United States today. And, uh, so, so one of the, uh, uh, one of the value propositions of Evo Grid is a budget oriented LED architecturally styled luminaire that's targeting new construction, but primarily going after the, that one billion, uh, uh, unit install base for fluorescent. And we're talking about replacement of those, uh, of those. So it's an, the huge opportunity for replacement in addition to the new construction, uh, opportunities. Um, and Evo Grid is, uh, is budgeted so that, uh, it's, it's in line with where you would anticipate a fluorescent dimmable luminaire to be. Uh, Philips, uh, Daybright Evo Grid Luminaire, as I mentioned, is an architectural grade product. Again, budget, uh, it's, it's a budget oriented type product and it is DLC listed so you can further, um, uh, balance your budget uh, projects with the rebates that are available from participating utilities. Uh, lumen maintenance is another thing uh, where you can save uh, save money long term with maintenance uh, or reduced maintenance. L70 up to 80,000 hours, and uh, you can see the mag maximized energy efficiency up to 85% compared to a similar fluorescent troffer. Evo Grid is currently available in two by two, two by two, and two by four sizes. With one by four size coming uh, shortly, we'll go into that more detail, and then space wise coming in September. Again, more detail forthcoming. Uh, the overall aesthetics are uh, much better than what you would uh, get out of a budget-oriented type product uh, that is a lens troffer, for example. So it's an architectural style, again, at a lower price point um, than, than uh, typical LED architecturally oriented products are today. Uh, Evo Grid is currently available with a two-week lead time. Now, uh, we know that uh, stock is a very important uh, feature for these types of products, and we will be stocking many SKUs. We'll go into that in more detail in a moment. Uh, but we do anticipate that this product will be heavily loaded at the front. Um, we just launched it here just recently. Uh, the factory is is poised to produce uh, upwards of 10,000 units a month, and uh, we will be bringing stock into the Philips RDCs as soon as possible, but we will be prior prioritizing customer orders ahead of those stock builds. And, and lastly, Evo Grid is positioned uh, to provide, provide an architectural style type product, and again, a budget price. I said that over and over, so I, I think you've got the point on that. So let's get into some more uh, technical details of the product. So the target audience um, is widespread. Uh, we are targeting uh, uh, distributors uh, and contractors for discretionary sales, um, you know, for design build type opportunities. We are also uh, targeting lighting specifiers and lighting engineers and architects. Uh, again, it's an architectural appeal at a budget price, so we, we're covering the full spectrum of target audiences for this product. 
So uh, this is a snapshot from uh, the, the the recess product playbook that we have available. Um, we can get this to you if you're interested. But it shows the overall value proposition of the various products in the uh, Daybright and Leadalite uh, recess portfolios. So in the purple there at the top, those are our statement type products. Those are our Leadalite brand. Uh, so Artform and Versaform are Leadalite. And then you see the various green, that's a performance range type uh, product portfolio that's branded Daybright. And at the bottom there, you see our budget or core oriented products. Uh, T-Grid LED is our uh, l flat lens recessed uh, LED product. HP90 is an architectural look as well. And then Evo Grid's position right in the middle of those two. Again, architectural style, but a, in, in a core range uh, offering uh, with respect to price. So this is just a different view of that, showing architectural appeal coupled with price and performance. And you can see at the bottom, we're starting with core, going up to, again, those legalized statement products. So you can see from here where Evo Grid is positioned in our overall portfolio. So getting into some of the technical aspects, uh, efficacy is certainly important to the lighting specifiers and architects. We have efficacy up to 124 lumens per watt. Uh, dimming is standard, uh, 0 to 10 volt dimming, and that's with the uh, purple and gray secondary leads attached from the driver to the access plate so that the uh, contractors do not have to access the, the body. They just uh, can pull the wires and, uh, and, and attach the secondary and the main voltage leads right at that access plate. Again, it's an architectural styled lens, uh, and the LEDs are accessed uh, from below. We'll go into more detail about the driver here in a moment. Depth. So plenum depth is very important when you get into new construction, but primarily for replacement opportunities where plenum space may be a bit of a challenge with regards to whatever piping or ducting that is above that ceiling. So at, at two and three quarter inches depth, we have minimal uh, intrusion into that plenum space, which is very important. Again, DLC listed, you can go to the DLC website and search for Evo Grid today, and you'll see all the qualified uh, products and variants of those products listed there. Um, energy savings, uh, again, compared to, to fluorescent, and you know, we're out of the gates uh, providing dimming as a, as a standard uh, option for these products and uh, replacing typically non-dimmable fluorescent. So again, further energy savings there. Space-wise, it will be available in September. Uh, so space-wise controls, again, available in September. And if you have um, questions about that, uh, I'd be glad to go over them with you. Uh, forthcoming announcements on that when we're ready to launch that. Product details, again, further. Uh, again, the architectural style of lens is very uniformly lit from one end of the fixture to the other. Uh, we have attractive uh, injection molded lens retainers at either end of the, of the fixture just to give it a, a clean, uh, uniform look. Again, the overall depth less than three inches. Integral T-bar clips are, are, uh, are on each end of the fixture, each corner, again, to uh, make installation uh, very fast and easy. In the lower right-hand corner, you see uh, uh, an image of the of the product from the top. Now, typically, the driver is actually mounted in the end of the, of the fixture. Uh, actually, you can see that in the lower left-hand corner uh, where the access plate is. So the driver in the standard product is mounted in the end of the fixture. That is accessible from an adjacent ceiling tile from above the fixture, not from below. Uh, we don't foresee that being an overall issue, again, because of the longevity of the product. They should be pretty much maintenance-free. Uh, but they, it is pretty easy to get access to that driver, again, from an adjacent ceiling tile. In the event that they want uh, emergency battery packs, we do add uh, a cover on the side of the fixture, and the battery pack is mounted there, and you can see the, the access plate in that lower right-hand image. Uh, and that's also added if uh, continuous row mounting is required. You can see in that uh, lower right-hand corner uh, that um, there's a knockout there in the end plate. So we add uh, we had the knockout in the end plate, and then the uh, the, the additional cover there, and then an, uh, an opposite knockout in the other end for that continuous row mounting. So in the lower left-hand corner on this slide, you can see our overall portfolio of 2x2s and then 2x4s uh, offered in both standard efficacy and high efficacy. So you can see the, the, general, um, the general packages that we're offering in each one of those sizes and types, uh, the input power and the resulting efficacy. So the 2x2 is about 100, 100 lumens per watt. 
2 by 4 is around 105 lumens per watt for the main runners. Then the high efficacy is exceeding 120 lumens per watt. So again, covering that full gamut of requirements where uh, a lightning engineer or a discretionary uh, type opportunity, may, they may be interested in primarily in price, but they do want uh, performance uh, as opposed to a lighting specifier who may want overall performance as the presiding factor, and we do offer those high efficacy options there. On the right, you can see the general performance of the of the 4800 lumen 2x4, and you can see that it is a, a very evenly lit uh, Lambertian type distribution. Again, ideal for uh, general lighting in an office space. So uh, we talked about the single piece lens. Uh, again, the driver uh, is accessible from an adjacent ceiling, ceiling tile. And emergency luminaires, uh, we talked about the placement of those that will be along the side. However, they do not increase the overall depth of the product. In many cases, uh, for this type of luminaire, it would add to the overall depth. But we maintain that 2 and 3 quarter inches depth. Uh, even if they go with the emergency battery pack. Lower right-hand corner, I have an overview of, of how to actually remove and replace the lens. It's pretty simple. Uh, you basically just take one end of the lens, use your index finger, uh, indent or compress the size of that lens and push forward. And that clears embosses that you can't see, uh, but uh, they're inside that injection molded end cap. You push it forward, and what that does is it frees the opposite end of that lens from the opposite uh, lens retainer. You basically just lift up on that end and pull the lens out, and you're good to go. And you have immediate access to the to the uh, lens retainer or to the um, uh, the the uh, LEDs LED boards for any maintenance that you may have to do there, as well as replacing that lens. Quick overview, again, 2x2 two two and 2x4 two immediately available today. 1x4 will be following in the fourth quarter. Um, currently, we're offering static only, but we will be offering air in the fourth quarter. Uh, three color temperatures, 3,500, 4,000, 5,000, with 3,000 K is is an opportunity. Uh, just contact me directly, and, and we'll work out details. That's not a forecasted board because of the volume with it, but we can do it, and I'll give you good details on that. Uh, efficacy, um, uh, or I'm sorry, uh, lumen maintenance. Uh, it's a little com uh, uh, it's a little confusing between TM21A and TM21. I'm going to go over this generally uh, and quickly, but feel free to contact me for more details. Uh, calculated L70 lumen maintenance, that's 70% lumen maintenance up to 50,000 hours per TM21A. And predicted L70 or 70% lumen maintenance up to 80,000 hours per TM21. Again, contact me directly, and I'd be glad to walk through that if you have questions. Uh, Chicago plenum rated. Um, integral battery packs, again, that do not add to the overall height of the product. And skipping down to the bottom here, uh, we are offering 0 to 10 volt as standard, as I mentioned earlier. Uh, we are also, also offering as options dolly, step dimming, phase dimming, that's Mark 10 phase dimming, and Lutron High Loom A, that's 1% uh, Lutron and Ecosystem 5 series, uh, which is your 5% dimming. So all of those uh, dimming uh, driver options are available today. Uh, won't go over this in too much detail. Uh, the matrices can be viewed online on the spec sheets. But again, uh, e e the biggest distinction here is that the 2x4 uh, the is offered in a standard efficacy, again, that 105 lumen per watt range, or high efficacy, again, that being the 120 plus lumens per watt range. Then uh, this is the overall overview of, um, of what we will be uh, providing as Service Mart, which is stock to two days, as well as Spec Mart, which is a 10-day delivery uh, lead time from the factory. So you can see we're taking this very seriously. We are going to be stocking not only the standard uh, standard units in both 2x2 two two and 2x4, two but also the equivalent emergency battery pack versions of those, and then a number of the high efficacy variants that will be offered in a 10-day lead time. As I mentioned earlier, we do anticipate being heavily loaded on the front end of this offering. Uh, again, we just launched it here just recently, uh, but uh, the factories will be prioritizing customer orders ahead of the stock builds, but we do anticipate being in a full stocking position no later than uh, early August. Uh, as far as collateral that's available to you, you have the spec sheets that are available online. Uh, the product uh, bulletin is also available online. Uh, and then um, uh, photometric files in both IES and PDF format are available online, and as well as instruction sheets. All that detail is available online, and you can simply just type in phillips.com slash evogrid, and it'll take you straight to that landing page. And on that, I'll turn it back over to Marissa. 
Okay, great. So if you have any questions on the EvoGrid LED, you can go to the Q&A tab and ask your questions now. We'll give you a few seconds to do that. All right, we'll give you a few more seconds to think over any questions you have, but in the meantime, we're going to go over to our polls. So our first poll will be, please indicate your degree of interest in the Phillips Daybright EvoGrid Luminaire featured in this presentation. And just a few more seconds for this question. Okay, great. Now the polls are closed. To our second poll question, how effective was this EvoGrid launch presentation? Just a few more seconds here. Okay, now the polls are closed. We did have a few questions come in, so we're going to switch over back to the presentation and take those questions. So our first question is, will 5,000 Kelvin be available? Yes, 5,000 K is available uh, as a standard. We won't be stocking it, but uh, it will carry a, um, uh, around a, a four to six week lead time. All right, great. And that was the only question we had. So Craig, thank you so much for your time. All right, thank you. All right, next up, I'm here with Brian Vetter, our product manager for the Philips Infinite Fit LED PLL lamps. Hello, everyone. Uh, thanks for your time today. I appreciate you uh, taking some time to learn about uh, the new PLL lamp that we're launching now. So it really is a very basic uh, premise for the product it is taking the current fluorescent lamp, combining it with our Instant Fit technology, and creating the Philips Instant Fit PLL. So uh, as with all of our Instant Fit lamps, it's just a very simple plug and play. It works with most Instant Start and Program Start ballasts. So how this fits within our total portfolio, as I was just mentioning about the total Philips Instant Fit family, the total family, all of the products are CSA, CUL, US listed, and I'll talk about the importance of UL listed versus UL classified in a moment. Uh, all of them are also NSF certified, so safe for food service applications, and of course meet the Rojas uh, compliance standards. Then for the T8 replacements, our four foot and two foot products are, are DLC listed. Three foot and U-Bend DLC does not have a category and therefore they are not considered DLC. And unfortunately that's the same story for the two foot PLL. DLC does not have a category for them so Phillips cannot achieve uh, DLC for those and for that matter neither can anyone else. We do have them however on the lighting design labs qualified products list or the LDL list. So there may be some rebates available to you um, for utilities who recognize LDL as, a, as a, um, uh, a reliable source. So that's how we fit in, in this range. Um, a little more detail about the product itself is that we're really looking at you know, expanding the Instant Fit family with the PLL. And as I mentioned, it is compatible primarily with Instant Start, but with also several program start and rapid start ballasts. Please look to our compatibility list in order to find out which ones are compatible as of right now. As with all of our products, there are a lot of ballasts to test out there. So if you do not see a ballast listed, it's not, it is, doesn't guarantee that it does not work. It's just that we haven't tested it fully. So please reach out to myself or other members of the LED team and we can see about having a particular ballast tested along with that. One of the good applications for this product is anywhere where there might be an occupancy sensor or frequently switched on and off. The lifetime of the product is not impacted by on-off cycles. So they're, they're rated for 50,000 cycles. So that's uh, quite a long time and many, many cycles over the course of its, uh, its lifetime. Another key feature of the product is that we really targeted this around making sense from a, from a dollar and cent standpoint. We want the payback to be quick. Um, with a standard 11 cent per kilowatt hour, which is about the average in the U.S. at the moment, the payback 
at that rate is about two years, considering we're replacing a 40-watt fluorescent system. Uh, certainly in areas where the electricity rate is much higher, and primarily on the, the coasts, uh, the payback will be less than two years and certainly could be even less than one year in the highest areas. The product is UL listed, and the importance of UL listing versus UL classified is that a UL listed product can be sold and installed as a standalone product. So it is, and anyone can make the installation. A UL classified product is supposed to be sold as part of a system, a lamp and ballast combination, and is supposed to be sold only with very specific combination of products. Additionally, UL classified products are supposed to be installed by certified electricians, and this would could obviously increase the installation cost. So by targeting our product and meeting the U and getting them to be UL listed, that should reduce the installation costs and, and make it a true plug and play replacement. The products involved with this launch are we have three of them. It's essentially the same lamp, just in three different color temperatures. So 3,000, 3,500 Kelvin, and 4,000 Kelvin are the, the temperatures that we have used. As a bare lamp, it is about 16 and a half watts. And the average system wattage, so lamp plus ballast, is about 21. Compare that to a 40 watt fluorescent system, and then you can see that we're saving roughly half of uh, about 50% energy. Lumens, around 2,000 lumens on, on average there. And the lifetime is a 40,000 hour life. And that equates then to a five year warranty. So this is a product that does have a slightly shorter life than the other uh, instant fit products that we have out there. Uh, but that's due to the, 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 the heat dissipation. So it's a little, all of the heat is concentrated in one small area here, and that has an impact on the, the lifetime. One final note about the beam angle. So like all of our other instant fit products, it does have a 160 degree beam angle. So it is very directed and is not the ideal solution for all applications. But with that being said, there are many applications where where it will work very well. Obviously, offices and schools, hallways, hospitality, as well as uh, cove lighting are some of the typical applications where we can see this uh, product being used. We have lots of in, um, information out there available for the product. So we have a payback calculator that has been updated. So I think the previous version was 1.1. Version 3.0 is being uploaded to the Philips.com website. I, I hope that it gets up there within the next few days. We have a product bulletin. So this product bulletin covers not only the PLL, but also all of our instant fit lamps. We have an updated ballast compatibility guide as well. So that was updated at the beginning of June. So if you have something, I believe the, the previous one was from the towards the end of April. Uh, make sure that you have the latest list because it has grown quite a bit and added in the PLL. There's also a specific install guide, NSF certification, Rojas declarations, technical files, and a technical application guide. And I think the technical application guide is something that is uh, often not known about. So I just want to point that out in particular. And it really goes over all of the details on where this can be used and what the limitations are. So from a temperature standpoint and also what will happen to the lamp lifetime if you do put it in an increased temperature application. And then finally, you can go to the website there, philips.com slash instant fit to get all of the download information that you need about the product. We will be running a launch promotion with this beginning July 15th and ending September 30th. And this is kind of like while supplies last. What it is is that we're trying to encourage trial and adoption by giving you a credit for sales of the fluorescent product towards the purchase of the LED PLL lamp. So you can see the different ordering levels, and it is if you place an order on those four fluorescent SKUs, you can get then credits earned towards your uh, next purchase of some Philips LED. So that's what I had before I go to the Q&A session, I do want to make mention of some products that will be launching in July, so you will very soon see some information about these and may have already heard about them. So we have, in particular, the glass, or I'm sorry, the, the dimmable tea light. So our 2100 lumen, 16 and a half watt tea light that is currently instant start and program start is going to be replaced 
by the 15 watt dimmable T LED. And we will have the same four color temperatures as we had before. And really the only difference is that the wattage goes from 16 and a half to 15 watt. And the, um, we add the dimmability to it. So um, please keep your eyes out for that. That's going to be coming down in July, as I mentioned. And with that, I'll open it up to questions. Okay, great. So if you have any questions on LED lamps, you can go up to the Q&A tab and ask those questions now. Okay, so our first question is, how long is the product tested prior in development summary for life hours? So for to do the testing, it's all based on uh, testing in situ temperature measurements and some probability analysis. So for us to claim a 50,000 hour life, there are some very tried and true methods for doing, say, a 3,000 hour test and extrapolating that out to see wh what we expect the failure rate to be. So based upon the engineering testing and probability analysis, we're able to estimate the lifetime of the product. Okay, and the next question, is a 5,000 Kelvin available? No, it will be just those three color temperatures that we have in the PLL. And then uh, the last question he had is regarding rebates. So are there rebates in partnering with distributors? Uh, there, there can be some rebates on it. As I mentioned, it would, be, um, it would come down to any utilities that were willing to accept LBL as their source of approval. Um, DLC does not have a category for the PLL lamp, so therefore it will not get DLC. And because it is a fluorescent tube type replacement, Energy Star does not cover it. So the only thing that we have to rely on in this situation is LDL. Okay, the next question, when will the PLL lamp be available to order? The pricing should be available, uh, I'd say, by the end of next week. And so they should be available then for order, say, beginning of July. Great. Are these lamps dimmable? No, they are not dimmable. Okay, and last question, will there be a PLT option? We are working on one for the future, so that's another one. Uh, I'll leave you with a teaser on that. Keep your ears open for, for an announcement about those in the fairly near future. Okay, great. And with that, we'll go over to our polls. So first up is please indicate your interest in the InstantFit LED PLL lamps. Just a few more seconds here. Okay, now the polls are closed. And our last poll for this webinar will be how effective was this presentation? Just a few more seconds. Okay, now the polls are closed. We'll go back to our presentation and in this last segment of the webinar, I will be reviewing some of our new available resources. So first up, we'll go through our Luminaires e-catalog. So for those of you who aren't familiar with the site, it's a comprehensive, easy to use, single source of Philips Luminaire product information on the web. And you have access to over 2,000 families, 45,000 SKUs on the site. And earlier this year, we've made a few updates and improvements to our e-catalog. So navigation data and search functions are continually added to, enhanced, and streamlined on the e-catalog. And our latest step, we introduced a newly designed product family page. And the redesigned page organizes technical data and assets such as images, product attributes, downloads, accessories, and lighting controls in easy-to-use easy to tabs. So you can check out the e-catalog demo video, which is available to you on YouTube, and you can see the link here on the slide. Or you can go directly to our e-catalog site at www.phillips.com slash luminaires. So the second resource we have available to you is the ProLuminaire app. And the ProLuminaire app is a visual in inspiring, fast, and comprehensive catalog tool, and it's available for Apple, Google, and Android devices. And in addition to having our entire Luminaire portfolio at your fingertips, we've added additional features to enhance your experience. And so you can share spec sheets and installation instructions. You can refine your search by specific product categories, look up which of our products are part of our service offering, and much more. So you can visit philips.com slash ProLuminaire app for all information on the app, as well as links to actually download the app on your phone. 
So third is, an, it accompanies our digital tools, so that's the ProLuminaire app as well as eCatalog. And here now we have printed guides, so they are ProLuminaire Pro indoor and outdoor guides. These guides help you quickly connect to the Philips Luminaire product, and it's physically in your hands. So these guides are actually better than traditional catalogs, as they're durable, wire brown, and they're in a convenient glove box size, so they're nice and compact for you to travel with. And we've included tabs to designate each product type included in the guide, so it's easy for you to flip through. And be sure to check out the how-to section at the front of each guide to get tips on making your search for the product information within the guide even faster. And these are available through your Philips sales representatives and just reach out to your rep for a copy of this guide. And last not, but not least, we have an update to our Luminaire Smart Art Service program. So these guides, they list out Luminaire products that we offer to you with a delivery promise. And there's two different types within the guides. First is Service Smart. Those are in stock and they're shipped within 48 hours from our warehouse. And as a subset of the Service Smart products, we do have distributor stock products that are noted in the guide. And the second type we have is Spec Smart products. And these are assembled to order and shipped within two weeks from our factories. So we are in the process of updating the guides and adding in some of our most recent product launches. And the updated digital and Excel files will be available to you in mid-July. And you can visit www.phillips.com slash smart service guide for the PDF copies of these updated guides in July. And as far as printed guides, they will be available in late July. And unlike our previous versions where we had an indoor-outdoor version, as well as a landscape version, this new updated guide will be an all-encompassing single book. And to request your copy, you can reach out to your sales representative. So with that, if you had any questions on the eCatalog ProLuminaire app, ProLuminaire guides, or the smart service guides, all of our new resources, you can go to the Q&A tab and ask them now. So we did have one question come in. It's more related to this webinar in general. The question was, when will a copy of this presentation be available and how to access it? So what we're doing is we're recording this webinar. So we're going to send you out a link to the recording, as well as we'll give you a copy of the actual presentation. And both of those will be in a single email. And you'll receive that email next week. And it doesn't look like we had any other questions come in. Oh, wait, we just had one. When are the wire-bound guides available? So the guides are available now. All you'll need to do is reach out to your sales representative and request a copy, and the rep will be able to order them on your behalf. And uh, we did have one other question come in, but it's regarding the Incident launch. Eric, what I'll do is I'll put you in contact with Brian Vetter and we can get your answer to that question. So with that, we want to thank everybody for taking their time and joining us today. And uh, like I just said, an email will be sent to you next week with the copy of the recording as well as the presentation. So with that, everybody, thanks again and enjoy your weekend. Take care.